Dead, dead, dead. Alright, so here's the, this is a gaming PC diagnostic. Alright, customer came in. Computer is not posting. I ran through some simple checks up at the front counter. See if we couldn't figure this out. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. All right, so start off with, we'll just do some basic, like on screen diagnostic stuff. Just to verify everything to make sure that it wasn't just the guy's presence screwing everything up. All right, we got, we got power. We get an immediate. Yeah, the power switch goes on. And then the whole thing just immediately turns itself off. So let's start unplugging stuff and see if we can't figure it out. Hey, it's an EVGA 980. I'm gonna just slowly remove parts to see if these parts that I'm removing suddenly help this thing turn on again. It's not that. Pull out some, me <laughs> some memory. You're having connections issue with the 49D from February. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. What kind of connection issues are you having? That's still not working. Alright, so by pulling that out... Let's try this other memory. By pulling out that memory, suddenly it didn't start immediately turning on and off. See if we got anything here. Now the question is whether or not the CPU actually actually uh, has video out. Right now we have a CMOS code of zero, which means generally nothing is happening. Thought it was a rock star. I mean, that sounds like a rock, uh, like a, a server issue, like a game issue. And so we're not getting anything there. Let's plug this back in. See, my only concern right now is this is staying at zeros, which generally means that nothing is happening. Okay, well, that's normal. It's basically saying that it can't connect to the Azure Online Texas Speech Services. Like if it's if it's like a like are you on Wi-Fi with that? All right. Well, you're not necessarily having issues with just that, so Like, how are you connected? Is it with Ethernet or is it Wi-Fi? We are going to pull the CPU and see what we got going on here. Uh, update your Wi-Fi drivers would be the first thing I would say. Try that. trying to think of what else it could possibly be make sure you don't have like run a uh, let's say run a um, my brain is farting here find a YouTube video that's like 24 hours and then just let it run 24 hours without the PC turning off if it disconnects that means there's a problem with the Wi-Fi no, Armory Crate doesn't do anything. Like, Armory Crate is some of the worst software for, like, maintaining, like, a computer there is, unfortunately. Um, yeah, find a YouTube video. That's like a 24-hour clock. And then just let it run. Don't use the computer. And then, after 24 hours, if it's still connected, then, 
means there's something else going on. All right, let's see if I have a CPU I can toss into this motherboard. Does that, does that make sense? Is that way you're gonna test to see if your Wi-Fi is dropping out? Which is what it sounds like it's happening. Like, game servers are designed to take like up to like usually like one to two percent drop off in the like the connectivity. But if it's anything more than that, then it starts becoming a problem. There could be something that has like new Wi-Fi interference within like within range. Ooh, this thing is a fourth gen i7. So you're gonna try and use Ethernet, right? No, you see, like he—it's after it's after it's already connected. It's not immediate. Yeah, if it was a host file, it would immediately be being blocked. Yeah, there could be something. What I was saying is there could be something new, like within range of your Wi-Fi, that's causing connectivity issues. Uh, it could be it could be a driver, like a Windows update driver issue. That's unfortunately a thing that can happen. Microsoft can just release an update and literally brick whole computers. Um, you can check your update history to see if there was any sort of update to the Wi-Fi uh, hardware. Something you can do. All right, so for this we tossed in, this is what this has is a i7-4790K and I'm tossing in there an i5-4430 so this should work. Let's see if, let's see if it turns on. Still, still getting nothing. Nope, we are getting, we're getting, we got a postcode. So, it looks like a dead CPU. Just set that there. See if we get video out. No, we wouldn't, would we? Huh. Yeah, you can try uninstalling the Wi-Fi and reinstalling it, see if that corrects the issue. Yeah, because it definitely sounds like something is just interrupting the interrupting the connection. That's what that that's what you're describing, like hundred percent. I'm gonna use a 4790K. I am not getting video out of this thing, even though I should be. What but we are getting postcodes. And again, this could be that issue where it is outputting video, but it doesn't like going through a switch. Problem is, I don't, I don't have a DVI connector over here really anymore. Let's see if it's going through the DVI connector for some reason. So I'm stuck on postcode 63. So let's figure out what that actually means. No, you're you're actually incorrect. There's still a chance there's a problem with the with the Wi-Fi driver. And the reason I say that is because the Wi-Fi driver can work and then have a conflict with a Windows update or something that comes in within like let's say two weeks ago you got a Windows update that had nothing to do with updating the Wi-Fi driver, but there's something with one of the system files that makes it no longer stable. Um, the other thing you can do, so like the first thing I would do, like I said, I would try the, that, the run of video for 24 hours thing. Second thing you can do, there's a an app you can download from, uh, what is that company called? Ubiquity, it's called Wi-Fi Man. You can use it to, it's a, it's a Wi-Fi, you can you can use it to see all of the Wi-Fi signals within a within your within like within a radius, and you can see if there is something that's overlapping your Wi-Fi signal, or if your Wi-Fi signal just completely cuts off, because most devices Wi-Fi is extremely forgiving, but when you're doing something like live gaming, it becomes not extremely forgiving, because what it ends up doing is is it drops the like the connection packets. And it's like, nope, you're no longer online. Whereas like a streaming service, great, you lost a couple frames. It just buffers them down for a few seconds and then buffers them back up. Like, 
yeah, games are extre like extremely sensitive to Wi-Fi drops. So this is a this is an Asus what? Is this a Pro Art board? I have I don't see anything that says what this is on this board. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, I don't think that's it's a Z97 Deluxe by Asus. Like I said, that's why I would check, I would run the video, and it, you know it's... That could be Windows. Like, legit, that could just be Windows turning your, your adapter on and off. Check your your task, not task manager, check your event viewer to see if, if it's shutting it off and turning it back on. Because you should be able to check that. The event viewer. So just hit the start button and then type in event viewer. And then go to Windows logs and then you can see, just click on system. And it'll, it'll give you like system hardware information about what's going on. So we are seeing 67. So apparently, I need to let this thing just run itself for a little while on that 67 code that comes up apparently I might also need to try a different CPU that CPU might be bad so we're watching here to see if we get a different number if we do great if we don't I'm going to try a different CPU I have a 3 series that I can put in there 27 Portrait Duo Pentium oh, you know what maybe I don't i5 2400 yeah i guess i don't i got two i5 2400s i have an i5 3570 which that would work as well so if it just sticks at 67 we're at 55 right now what is 55 55 shouldn't exist according to this memory not installed maybe that was my fault Yes, it is. This is DDR3. I need some DDR3, Angeline. I, we're probably only going to have four gigs. Uh, this one says it's 16, but I highly doubt that. 63. What's 63? It's just CPU DX initially. Hey, there you go. All right. Now, let's. That is so hot. We'll see. We'll see what, if that runs. I'll leave this here. So with that CPU back in there, we're getting double zeros. Yeah, so that CPU is dead. 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 All right, so let me call him. See what he wants to do. But at least we confirmed that the CPU is actually the problem. CPU and memory. Let's see what we got. So that CPU, we can, looks like we can just get it for 50 bucks. 80. All right, let me give him a call. Hey, this is Chris over at the computer shop. Good, all right, so got the diagnostic done on your computer here. It is your CPU and one of your sticks of memory. I mean, this thing is on its, like it's deathbed as far as like age and compatibility, unfortunately. Like the after next year, the the C, the GPU will no longer be getting support from NVIDIA. Basically, I wouldn't do anything else with this and just look at replacing everything. Yep, but I would keep this case because they don't make this case anymore and people like this case, so. I have to order this stuff, I don't have this stuff here, so. Uh, you're looking at probably a, a week. Yeah, but if it gets here sooner, I'll give you a call and uh, get you down, get it down here and then get it done. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.